April's recognized as Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and today is National Teal Tuesday. Victims Resource Center, a nonprofit serving Luzerne, Wyoming, and Carbon County, is taking to the streets now and encouraging people to wear teal. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us now live in the studio with more about the reason why. Nick, Candice, good evening. According to Victims Resource Center in 2023, they supported nearly 500 women, men and children who survived sexual assaults. This Teal Tuesday serves as a reminder to those survivors as well as those who have not come forward that they have support from the community. Teal Tuesday, it's a simple, yet meaningful act. We do this to raise awareness about sexual assault um, and to uh, help support survivors. On Tuesday, dozens of people across northeastern Pennsylvania are sporting the springy color. We go out and we take pictures of people wearing teal. It's all for a bigger purpose, showing support for survivors. Beck says one in three women and one in six men have experienced sexual assault. So one of the main reasons that survivors don't come forward is because they don't think they're going to be believed or supported. And so when we wear teal, uh, we are having a, showing them visually that we are supporting them, um, that we're a safe person to talk to if they feel the need to come forward and to share their story or to talk to somebody. Victims Resource Center support stretches um, far past Teal Tuesday yeah. and the month of April. Yeah. They offer confidential, yeah. free of charge services for those in need 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We offer individual counseling, um, we will go with survivors to the hospital if they're presenting to the hospital as a sexual assault survivor, individual counseling, support group counseling. Uh, we will go to the police department with them if they choose to report and also through the criminal justice system. Victims Resource Center wants survivors to know they are never alone. It's not your fault. We believe you and we support you. For more information on Victims Resource Center, head to PAHomepage.com. Reporting in the studio, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. Thanks, Amelia.